France won the World Cup in 98. Yeah, Xenoid, in, in French, they, they say quatre vingt instead of 80. Also, in half of European languages, and or more than half, they say the numbers backwards, which I don't understand. They must think that we say the numbers backwards and they're saying it forwards. So like German and Dutch and some other languages, they say like, you know, 3 and 20 instead of 23. What? And, th and the same thing, 33, 43. I, I don't know why. I mean, they must think that that's forward and the way we're saying it's backward, just like the date. Americans are the only ones who do the date the way we do. Every other country does it the other way. It seems to me the month is more important than the date. So you should say the month first. But we're the only country that does that. Okay, it's five minute unrated, not three minute not unrated. Also, uh, in America, and possibly only in America, instead of saying 3.30 or 4.30, some people say half past. It's half past eight. It's not very common. It's pretty rare, actually. But if somebody says it's half past eight, that means 8.30. It's pretty rare. Like, kids wouldn't know that. But in England and in other European countries, they, they don't agree on what that means. So I think, like, in England, if it's half eight, it's 7.30. But in America, if it's half past eight, it's 8.30. And in some countries, if you say half eight, it means 8.30, and in some countries it means 7.30. Probably better to say 7.30 or 8.30 so there's no confusion. Instead, people say the way they were taught, then they argue that's correct and the way you're saying it's wrong. People think the way they were taught, that's right. And I'll give you a funny example. When I played in the Bundesliga uh, for Dortmund, my, my, the, the team captain, the sponsor, he told me that I didn't speak English properly. And I said, like, what do you mean? He said, well, for example, you mispronounced the word hot. You say hot. It's not hot. It's hot. So obviously, when he learned English, he learned British English. Because nobody in America says hot. Nobody's ever said that. We say hot. It's hot out. But he thought the way he learned English was correct. And there's no other way to speak English. And therefore, he's right. Even though English is the only language I speak. He still thought he was right because he learned it in school. Also, why do British people put use in words? Well, I don't understand that. Like, if you could put a letter in or not put a letter in, like, don't put the letter in. Like, why, why would you put extra letters in? How's that help? So come on, Brits, etc. And so forth. Anyway, I hope you learned a lot from that.